Another question um, that has been on my mind lately is how much of one's life is a result of their past karma? Are the injustices and unfairnesses that one faces in one's life a result of their past karma? If so, do you accept these injustices on, and find solace in the fact that, okay, the karma is being cleared, <laughs> 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 even though it might seem detrimental to our lives in so many ways? Uh, Samantha, you're old enough for this. I'm not saying you're old, I said you're old enough. <laughs> Uh, that, do you still expect the world to be fair to you? That's why I'm asking this question. <laughs> <laughs> the, that is Can the, I blame it on my past karma is what I'm asking. Were you, I want the world to be fair to me is a schoolgirl question. <laughs> By now you should know the world is not fair. It will not be fair to you. But. If you dig deep into yourself and have a taste of life, not a taste of your thought and emotion, the taste of life that you are, then you will see life is not just fair, it's just fantastic. So do you want fair life or fantastic life? You must decide. I've noticed this, that beyond the material ego, there is now suddenly a wide spread. Who's this ego guy, your friend? <laughs> it's all around me <laughs> <laughs> and in my industry, the heights of it. <laughs> so beyond the material ego, I've noticed there's, com there's now widespread spiritual ego. I've come across a lot of people who are now on a spiritual path. <laughs> Not you, Sadhguru. <laughs> who, who, who consider themselves superior to people who are not on a spiritual path. How would you advise such people to ensure that they don't fall a prey to this new spiritual ego? <laughs> we'll… Uh, first we'll address this ego guy, okay? If you show me where it is, I'll fix it right now. I wish I knew where it was, it just keeps coming suddenly. So, you don't know where it is. 